Thank you. Thank you for the invitation to speak here today. My name is Philip Mann. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Chronex. What is Chronex? As we like to put it, it is the most advanced way to buy, sell, and service luxury watches. What that means specifically is that we're a fully transactional platform that helps retailers, consumers, and brands sell their products online into 130 markets without having the infrastructure investments into any online capacity. We take care of everything for them. So this is how it looks. This is our homepage. Um, what you will notice is even though we're a marketplace, we control all of the content, we control all of the product information, we control the pricing, etc. So it feels like an e-commerce, but has the benefits of a marketplace in the background. Why are we the most advanced? The Chronix business model basically rests on the thesis that we need to manage all aspects of the transaction. We manage pre-sales service, after-sales service, logistics, payment, and authentication. So it means that the whole customer experience, no matter whether you're buying from a retailer, a consumer, or a brand, whether the item is in the US, in Germany, or Italy, it always feels the same. And we authenticate every single item. Yeah? So every watch that is sold is never drop shipped, and every item is checked by our own watchmakers. We never make an exception. So this is how the business model works. Essentially, the retailer, reseller, which could be a private individual or brand, lists the item with us online. The item is then bought by the consumer. They pay us. We pick up the item from the reseller. We authenticate it with our own watchmakers in-house. The item is then gift wrapped and shipped to the consumer. If the consumer doesn't return the item within 14 days, the reseller gets the money minus our commission. So again, we manage all points of the process. And even though it feels like it is a marketplace and has the benefits of being very working, working capital light, the whole experience is standardized. So the question is that you need to ask yourself, why is the luxury watch market only moving online now? And why is it generally always a big deal when you speak about luxury watches and online? So to give you a kind of quick glimpse on the industry, the luxury watch market is 100 billion uh, sales in annually, globally. Yeah? So it's 80 billion in new watch sales, and it's 20 billion in pre-owned watch sales a year. But the most striking number is you have $900 billion worth of inventory around the globe that is sitting, waiting to be traded, and no one's doing it. And if you ask yourself why, it doesn't make sense. Because if you look at the online penetration levels of other verticals, you have electronics with 50%. You have even fashion with 16% online penetration. And watches, depending on the estimate, is only 2 to 6%. And that doesn't make sense, because you have extremely high margins in the space, which means that you can effectively invest into online marketing for reasonable customer acquisition costs. And you have a super scalable operation that you can build, because you're dealing with a very small item. Even though it's a trivial example, if you look at that sofa, we could put $100 million worth of stock on there. Yeah? So you don't need soccer house-sized warehouses with operations like Zalando. Everything is very small. So what is the issue for brands today? Basically, the watch market based on a, is based on a distribution model that was created pre Internet. And what that means is this market creates leakage, which I'll explain in a second, and undermines the pricing that the watch brands want, as well as the brand equity, because watches are leaked from authorized sources where they shouldn't be sold. The only way to stop this leakage is to allow one platform, such as Chronex, to consolidate all of the offline sellers globally in one market and to ensure that there's a true omni channel market dynamic. And the only way to do this is the Chronex business model. So this is how the industry currently works. You have a watch brand. This brand produces a watch. This watch is then sold to a distributor who is a distributor for a certain geography. This distributor then sells to an authorized retailer, and the retailer is supposed to sell this to the consumer. But what you will notice with this whole system is not only a lot of margin gets lost in there, yeah? and the brand that actually does the most important job, producing the item, owning the brand, doing the marketing, makes the least amount of money in the whole value chain, but it's a push system. So inventory is pushed down. And when you push inventory, it means that there's some inventory that there's too much off in the market and some inventory that is too little off in the market. And at the end of the day, this means that there's leakage. And this leakage is the gray market. So there will be some products that are sold at a discount on the gray market and some products that are sold on a premium in the gray market. And this means that the brand, no matter how good they do a job with distribution, always will have leakage that will stop them from selling online. And if you think about it, it doesn't make sense because you're dealing with a globally standardized product. 
throughout the watch world, yeah, the watch, if it's a Rolex, the collections are identical across the globe. Yeah? It's an easy to ship item again. And the customer usually is already doing the research online. Yeah? So you would think they would convert online. But again, brands are scared of going online because they want to maintain price control. They need to make sure that they preserve their established distribution channel, which 80% in the watch industry is wholesale. And they need to ensure quality, photography, pricing, the packaging, etc. So this is the model that we propose. And this is what we're bringing to the industry. We say you can't have online and offline separately. You need to have a global view on inventory. You need to help watch brands find a way how they can get all of their inventory onto one platform and manage this inventory pool in a global way. And what I mean by this is the brand needs to continue to sell to their retailers who continue to sell to consumers. But at the same time, these resellers need to be allowed to sell to Chronex. And at the same time, the brand can also sell directly to Chronex. And what we believe is that Chronex is building the operating system for the industry that allows brands to stop this leakage. And the number one barrier to going online with the whole industry is drying out this gray market. So the Chronex model is the only model that enables brands to do this. What are the benefits to watch brands to work with Chronex? Number one. By working directly with us, you take out complexity from the supply chain. So you increase your profit per watch up to 100% only by allowing an omni-channel distribution to happen. Secondly, you preserve the existing online retailers. Some brands have thousands of points of sale online. Yeah? The distribution system means that they need to make sure that these points of sale are preserved. Why? Because they still need offline presences where the product is shown, where the customer can touch it, etc. Our model allows to preserve that offline structure. And lastly, by working with us, you dry out the gray market that damages the brand equity in the long run. And we are already driving this today. So this is our supplier portal. We have. Um, over 2,000 retailers globally that are attached to this portal, and they interact with the Chronix platform on a real-time basis. So we see which inventory they have, and we see which inventory is moving fast, which inventory is moving slow. We can help brands, as a result, manage this much better. So we have a single unified platform with real-time access to their inventory, and this helps brands improve profitability by taking out complexity, but also through a revenue share. And we are the, uh, a revenue share. And we're the only marketplace in the world in the watch segment that has this. Nobody else does. And the industry is acknowledging this. So if you look at a few quotes, at the top, Jean-Claude Biva, uh, for tech people, this is kind of the Steve Jobs of the watch industry. And basically, he says, online retail is the future. You can't stop it. It is impossible to stop it. And luckily, he understands what Chronix does. And even George Cam, who was previously very much anti-internet, anti-online sales, who was the head of watchmaking of Richemont Group and now the CEO of Breitling, which is owned by CVC, says, everything will go online. The only thing that will be analog will be the product. And so a few milestones that show you that we're moving there. First of all, we raised a funding round of $34 million last December with Endite and Tengelmann Ventures, which we're very proud for us to be supported um, to continue our internationalization and to roll out the product. Second of all, as the first marketplace in this vertical globally, we are certified by Swatch Group as an authentication center and a watch workshop. So this means that all watches that are going to repair to us and are authenticated by us are certified by Swatch Group, which is the largest group in the industry, owning Omega, Breguet, Blancpain, etc. And lastly, we do all of this while having a 7,200 euro average basket and having 31,000 products on the platform. So before I leave you um, with these impressions, um, our growth, growth has been 197% on average the past three years. And as a small thank you to share the experience of buying a watch with you on Chronex, feel free to have this discount code of 150 euros on your next purchase in the next six weeks on any item, Rolex, IWC, etc., on our platform. Thank you very much.